All right, today we are going to learn how to make doll shoes. Doll shoes are a true labor of love. Um, they're kind of a hassle, but if you want to have be able to have shoes of every color for every outfit, then making your own is the way to go. You can buy lots of leather on eBay. Just enter scrap leather lot. And you could get them for cheap. I have gotten all kinds of leather scraps from eBay. And uh, another source is you can get beautiful colors and have things to go with every single outfit. Another source is thrift stores. I bought beautiful coats from thrift stores. Like this beautiful old coat that I use for some shoes. I have a beautiful Wilson leather jacket that is pretty much nothing but shreds now. But anyway, for $10, you get enough leather to make a lot of doll shoes. That's a good thing about dolls. They're small. And uh, here's another one I use. I use this one for the soles. There's, it's a suede coat. So anyway, how you do it is, and you also have to wear elf ears when you do it because shoemaker's elf. I hope you got that. Um, I spent a lot of time on these. When I first started making shoes, I got patterns. I bought this book strictly for the shoe patterns, which you see them here. Now, and they come in all kinds of different sizes. The problem for me with this is that the shoe is so wide that uh, when you sew it up the back, it kind of makes the shoe look kind of cheap. So what I have started doing is making my own patterns. For example, this doll is Luella. She's currently up for adoption on eBay. Here's the simple pattern I used for her. It's um, pretty much a U. And I made these cute little Mary Janes with them. What I do is, once I make my pattern, I trace her foot like this. You can trace it and then, you know, you don't have to be perfect because then you know what a shoe shape looks like. I just kind of make it more look more like a shoe. And then I uh, make my little U pattern, make sure it fits around. I trace it with a pen onto the back of the leather. I then cut the shoe out of chipboard. You can get these off the back of notepads, say. Yellow notepads. And then I cut another one of suede. What I like to do is, I like to get and sew to stabilize around this, around the, the area. And then I sew the back right here. My sewing machine is nothing fancy. Right now I have an old tank from about the 40s. But before that, I had a simple sewing machine from Target that was 129 goes on sale for $89.99. So you sewing machines can sew leather. Sometimes you have to help them and but um, you don't need to be super fancy. I was uh, trying to do it myself. I would pierce through my fingernails and everything and it's a lot faster. So then when I have the shoe sewn in the back I put it on my doll's foot upside down. I then put the cardboard sole that I've cut out down. I get my glue. I glue it around and then you're gonna wish you had eight hands because I just start working it up like this. Now this is where sharp scissors and an iron come in handy. I will use scissors to cut the um, the little triangles around just kind of like you're clipping curves. And then I will use my iron and I will, I will just work that leather over and over. I cannot lose her card. Uh, 
until it's sealed all the way around. Then, once it is, I get my soy soul and I uh, get a Q-tip. I glue the entire wrong side of it with the Q-tip because I don't want to get glue on my fingers because then I can get glue on shoes. And I put that down and I iron that on. And then I get my little sharp scissors and I'll trim off little edges and, and stuff like that. And then for the strap, here, let me show you the shoe. Here it is. Then for the strap, I sewed a piece of suede onto it with uh, two little side-by-side -side stitches. I don't know if you can see that. I don't have my glasses on my face. And it's easier to uh, put the leather strip down and then sew it onto a wider piece of suede so you don't have to sit there and try and match it exactly and then trim it. And then, oh, there's my phone. It's, and then I sew snaps on by hand. When I do that, getting through the layers of leather is kind of hard to do. So sometimes I, I keep a wooden board there and then I, you know, use the wooden board as a big giant thimble. Another handy thing for shoes is, for example, for this pair. This is Mary Lou. She will be, she will be leaving us today. I'm going to um, fix her hair a little bit, but uh, she's our Rolf cheerleader. And this uh, pair of shoes is a little bit fancier. They're saddle shoes, as you can see. I... Here's how I did that. It's kind of like a lot of my dresses. Here's the pattern for the main part while I recreated it. And then once I cut that out of the buff colored suede, I cut it here and here to uh, for the red suede, for the red leather. Can you... Let's see, there we go. And stitch that on to make the holes. You can get one of these at a craft store and it comes with several attachments for several different holes. And uh, you just put it on your wooden cutting board and you can, you can get it that way. Or I found this at a garage sale. You could also make holes with that. These are like, six or seven dollars. I am all about being inexpensive. Search Hazel Twig anytime. If I have a dollop, you will see her there. So thank you from my sewing room to yours. And uh, let's make some doll shoes. You're my favorite.